Girl, and your tack doesn't even fit. <laughs> she's she's a Amber's over here. Oh my god, I have no idea why my horse flipped over on me. Your tack doesn't even fit, girl. Look at this tack. This tack is not even put on properly. It doesn't even fit this horse. This horse is probably in severe back pain because you can't even fit a saddle properly on him. Oh my god. Hey bitch, and welcome back to me talking about people I hate. <sighs> welcome back to a new Raleigh Reacts video, you guys. If you are new to my Raleigh Reacts videos, these are videos where I sit down and I talk about and react to animal abuse, more specifically horse abuse, or animal videos of any kind. These are video submissions that you guys send me, and if you would like to send a video to my Raleigh Reacts email, it is raleighreacts at gmail.com right up there on the screen and in the description down below. I try to do at least one of these videos a month, but sometimes they can be a little hard on my mental health, which is why I stopped doing them for about a year. It's hard, but we're back because <laughs> it's needed. Before we get into this video, girl, I gotta tell you, this video is sponsored by my favorite jewelry company ever. You guys know them. You guys love them. I've worked with them so much many times before on this channel and it is Ana Luisa jewelry. You guys, you guys always see me wearing their jewelry in almost every single video of mine, which they don't even sponsor. I just, I always wear their jewelry. I've loved their brand. I've reached out to their brand so many times for partnerships because I just personally love working with them. Me being a sustainable, eco-friendly individual and watching where my money goes, Ana Luisa jewelry is 100% carbon neutral and they offset all of their carbon emissions. They care so much about the earth and the environment that they even have their water footprint information on their website. I really recommend that if you're interested in reading more about how sustainable Ana Luisa jewelry is that you go to their website and check it out, but I'm here to talk to you guys not about how great of a company they are and how responsible of a company they are, but how gorgeous their jewelry is because, I mean, look at these new pieces that I just got. Seriously, I love Ana Luisa jewelry. I have so much of their jewelry and I just can't even tell you how great it is. What you doing? Are you just going to be part of this or what? Yeah? Okay. Ana Luisa jewelry is having a huge BOGO Black Friday sale. You can buy one, get one up to 60% off on their website right now. They're probably my favorite brand ever. We love a good sponsor on this channel and they're definitely a great sponsor. So head over to Ana Luisa Jewelry. You guys can click my link down below. So without further ado, thank you so much to Ana Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring this video. Let's get into it. I feel like my last few videos, which if you haven't seen my last one, definitely go check it out because I get a lot of people who constantly tell me that they don't get notified when I post post videos and you not only have to be subscribed to this channel but you also have to have your notification bell turned on but if you didn't see my last video definitely go watch it because I think it plays a huge part into just how crazy people are and how people will do literally anything for views 2018 Congress freestyle Luke uh, Gingrich on CJ Rio Zanbargun I'm guessing it's maybe a raining freestyle Okay, so right off the bat, I just want to say a couple things. I, first of all, have no idea how this horse was trained, 
what kind of methods he used to train the horse. Obviously, this horse and this rider could be absolutely great. He could have used amazing training methods to train this horse, and I'm not suggesting otherwise. I get a lot of people who constantly say that all I do is speculate. Listen, I am not suggesting that this guy did these other things, but one thing I want people to know and pay attention to, and this, again, has nothing to do with this guy. I'm just bringing it up because he's a trick trainer from what it looks like. This is something that Lauren at Gun 91 and I have talked about a lot, and that is a lot of people have a facade of looking like they have a good relationship with their horse or their horse is so well trained and oh my god look at this horse doing all these amazing tricks when in reality the methods that those trainers got those horses to do those tricks were actually incredibly abusive and really really wrong so again i'm not suggesting that that's him but i want to take this time and this opportunity just to remind people that just because you see somebody doing something like this, you shouldn't automatically assume that they're a great person. You should still be a little skeptical before understanding how that horse was actually trained. really have much to say about this video except the spurs <laughs> i know here come all the people attacking me for talking about spurs you know when i made my last video where it was actually backed by medical and veterinary data and studies that i went over and i actually rode in spurs myself i got so many people hating on me on tiktok who didn't even watch the video. I honestly might link my spur video down in the description because I recommend that everybody goes and watches it. This is not about all spurs being bad. I go in depth on what spurs are bad for what purposes and the pressure distribution methods and differences with different types of spurs and which ones you can and can't use and how to use them. And there's actual medical data that I go over. So I highly recommend that if you do ride with spurs that you watch that video it is of the utmost importance that you educate yourself on the pieces of tack that you're choosing to ride in so all i will say in regards to this i think his spurs depending on what kind of spurs he's using are totally fine because he's really only making contact when it's just an extension of his leg I personally don't like riding in spurs when you're doing Liberty because that kind of defeats the purpose of riding Liberty. The whole purpose of riding Liberty is you're not using force. It's that you're you're asking your horse to participate with you and it's a relationship and your horse is choosing to do it. I'm not saying that's the case for all spurs. As I go over in this video, there are correct ways to use spurs. But I think he's a really good rider and I think, you know, he has a really good relationship with this horse horse I think he cares about the horse and I think he's doing a really good job and I also think he's using the spurs correctly he has a really nice seat and he's very well balanced and he probably did train this horse perfectly fine so again the beginning portion of this video was not directed at him it was just to say that you should always be cautious when you see people training horses and doing trick training or liberty of how they're actually getting to those polished finished results oh my god <laughs> You know it's gonna be a good video when the song is If I Die Dumb, a parody of If I Die Young. Why would anybody make a parody of If I Die Young? That's such a good song. Oh God, God. Take the video and YouTube it, tell the others how. No, oh God, no. Girl, stop, what are you doing? You know, sometimes when I watch these videos, I just want to be like, 
what are you doing? What did you think was going to happen? What's going through your mind? I already know what's going to happen and I haven't even seen this. I tried to make them proud. My last words. No way. I can do it. Uh oh. Wow. As if no one could have seen that coming. I truly believe that people have to learn the hard way, and sometimes the hard way means getting injured yourself by doing something stupid, but at the same time, when you do things like this, you put your horse at risk as well, because you're kind of putting your horse in a situation where they're freaking out. I mean, you don't know if this horse has any training or not. This horse may never have been ridden or saddled and has no idea what pressure on its back is, and a lot of people don't see things like this as traumatizing because they're like, oh, I'm harmless, you know, this is just going to be a funny thing. If you're jumping on a horse that has never had pressure on their back before, never had a rider on their back, you're going to freak them out. That's a flight response. That's them needing to run away, needing to get out of that situation because they're in the danger zone. Something's getting on them. Something's attacking them from the back. Like, it's not as funny and innocent in the horse's mind as it is in yours, which is why some stuff like this is really, really stupid. But regardless, even if this horse has been ridden, what's the point of doing this? Just for clicks and views on TikTok? I mean, you're not only putting your own life at risk, but you're promoting people doing really stupid shit and dangerous things around horses and other animals. Oh, God. So here's a little mind over matter trick that I have learned that helps most, but not all. Trying to learn some pressure today, doing some side pass work. And this colt knows to move with your feet. He's just having a spooled day. Flipped over backwards with me. And if you can get him to stay down, sit on him. Rub all over him. Everywhere you can get. Floppy tack on him. Like I said, this colt trusts me. Just sit here on him for a minute. Mind over matter. Oh, oh no. No, Amber. Amber, what are you doing? Don't let them get away with bad habits. Okay, we need to talk about this. First of all, she said Colt. I'm assuming this horse is probably within two to three years old, if not maybe even younger than that. If you have a horse that you're starting that's essentially a baby, you need to be incredibly lenient with that animal, okay? Horses don't owe you anything. They don't have a job. When people say that my horse is being spoiled, my horse is being bad, He's just having a spooled day. Horses don't have jobs. They don't owe you anything. It's literally a privilege for you to get on them and ride them. The fact that they would allow you to do that. I mean, that's why it annoys me so much when people act like horses should just be these mindless pieces of machinery and do whatever they want them to do without fail. I mean, that's just really stupid and it goes to show that you're a really bad horseman. Let's talk about why this is so wrong. First of all, this is not a training method. She's trying to say that it's teaching the horse mind over mind matter, which makes absolutely no sense, and she clearly doesn't know what she's talking about. And then she's trying to say it's teaching the horse submissiveness and patience. No. Horses that are being forced to lay down on the ground, it's been proven time and time again that these training methods don't work. These horses actually shut down mentally when you force them to lay down like that. They shut down because it's a fight or flight response, and this is not a proper way to train a horse at all. If you have a horse that is flipping over on you, chances are there are some serious groundwork problems that you skipped out on as a trainer or that you didn't train properly into your horse before getting on them and riding them. Or you're riding in clearly a very severe Tom Thumb bit and you have really bad hands and hard hands and you're causing your horse to rear up and flip over on you, which is a very likely possibility because I'm going to be honest, the entire time I've been riding horses, the only times I've ever seen horses flip over on riders is when riders have a really ridiculously heavy 
heavy hand and they yank on the horse's face and basically give the horse absolutely nowhere to go. I just love how the initial response is to blame the horse, which is just unbelievably stupid in my opinion, and it makes you look like a really bad trainer. <laughs> when you force a horse to lay down as a training method, not only does it not work because you're not teaching the horse anything by forcing him to lay down and you're just kind of being an asshole and it's a really lazy way of training, but on top of that, you're encouraging a very dangerous training practice because when horses lie down for 15 to 20 minutes at a time that's the only allotted time that a horse can safely lie down and all horses are different but according to many veterinary studies most horses can safely lie down for about 15 to 20 minutes the reason this is so dangerous is because when horses lie down they're at risk of their lungs collapsing their blood flow being cut off to muscles and organs throughout their body, horses can have serious health problems that occur very, very quickly for lying down for prolonged periods of time. On top of that, when you are sitting on your horse's neck and their head and you're basically confining their lung and their air passage, I mean, you're not only constricting the blood flow to your horse, but you're also constricting the airflow that's going through your horse's face into their lungs. It's absolutely wild and insane that people still refer to this as a good training method or a training method at all, because this is nothing more than lazy, pathetic training that doesn't work and is incredibly fucking dangerous. Girl, and your tack doesn't even fit. <laughs> she's, she's a Amber's over here. Oh my God, I have no idea why my horse flipped over on me. Your tack doesn't even fit, girl. Look at this tack. This tack is not even put on properly. It doesn't even fit this horse. This horse is probably in severe back pain because you can't even fit a saddle properly on him. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. At least there's some sane people in her comment section. It looks like she's going through and deleting a lot of her comments. <laughs> the 90s called and asked for your horse alpha whisper rollback. These tactics can actually make more issues so true. Absolutely not. Sitting on a young horse's neck, getting a result from fear and pain is not the same as getting a result from proper training. Yes. That's what's so sad about this. It's like all of these internet trainers are out here promoting very dangerous methods. And listen, all trainers train differently. I have no problem with people training horses responsibly, but if you're doing it like this, no. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. A massive thanks again to Ana Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring this. Make sure to click that link down below to shop their BOGO Black Friday sale. Again, I love them so much and thank you for sponsoring this. But otherwise, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!